Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my highly anticipated, highly requested nighttime skincare routine. As you guys know, I am 36 years old and skincare is so important to me and nighttime skincare is just as vital as daytime skincare. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you hit that notification bell because when you do, you'll be one of the first people to know whenever I release a new video. So let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I use is a vitamin C serum. And whenever you use a vitamin C serum, try to find one that has the ingredient L-ascorbic acid on the label because that is the most potent, best form of vitamin C for the skin. It's going to do it all. It's going to brighten your skin. It's going to be able to penetrate into your skin to reduce the pigmentation spots you may have, the aged spots, the sun spots, and it's going to help to reverse UV damage. So I always use my vitamin C serum first. Give it a good shake. This is the Katherine Jones serums, and I did make a video about all of her serums. I just love them. So I'm going to put a pipette worth into my hand and rub my hands together and just put it all over my face and my neck. And as a bonus, just put a little bit on your chest as well. The next thing I use is hyaluronic acid. This is such a great thing to put on your skin. Don't be scared of the word acid. It's hyaluronic acid is something our bodies actually make. And what it does is it just holds on to water and moisture and it locks it into the skin. So it's going to give your skin just a beautiful plumping effect. Unfortunately, as we get older, we don't have as much hyaluronic acid, so that's why we wanna put a little bit more onto our skin. This is the Katherine Jones Happy Face Hyaluronic Acid if you don't have access to it. I also really love the Alissi Bronte Parisimo Hyaluronic Acid. Both of these work very well and I use them interchangeably. So just give your hyaluronic acid a good shake and once again, put one pipette worth into your hand. Rub your hands together and just really put it into the skin. I like to press it into my skin because I feel that it just penetrates a little bit more. And put it all over, don't forget that under eye area. And if you have a little bit of excess, you can even just dot it onto your lips. So now I have my hyaluronic acid serum on and I'm going to just give it a few seconds to dry. And I just wanna point out as it's drying that if you're not sure whenever you have skincare what order to put things in, a general rule of thumb is actually to go from the thinnest consistency up to the thickest consistency. So start with the thinnest and work your way up to the thickest. Just wanted to put that in there. So now I'm going to move into my under eye serum. I have two that I like to use. This one is the Katherine Jones Puff Buster. This one contains caffeine and it's great if I have puffy eyes. Caffeine is a vasoconstrictor, so it's gonna help to reduce any puffiness I have in my under eye area. It also contains castor oil and sweet almond oil, which is great for smoothing out those fine lines. The other one I like to use is the Dermalogica Ultra Smoothing Eye Serum. This is more of my everyday one. If I don't feel like my eyes are looking particularly puffy, then I'll just use this one. It's great for smoothing out those fine lines and just penetrating deep into the skin and really giving my skin a nice drink of moisture. So I just put about one drop's worth onto my finger, rub my fingers around and just press it right into that under eye area. If you'd like to see how I use this Katherine Jones serum, you can go to my Katherine Jones video about all of her serums and I do demonstrate this one in that video. So now I'm going to move on to my retinoid. If you're unsure about retinoids, basically retinoid is the umbrella term and there's different types. It's all derivatives of vitamin A and the purpose of using a retinoid is it's going to help to turn back that clock and help to reduce your wrinkles that you have and to prevent them. And that's all based on collagen production. As we get older, 
Unfortunately, our bodies just stop producing so much collagen and elastin. So retinoid just gives our skin that kick it needs and it helps to increase the collagen production and start erasing those fine lines and wrinkles that are already on the skin. And yes, it works. Now, there are two that I like to use. This one is the Peter Thomas Roth 3% Retinoid Plus. This is a retinol. You can buy this over the counter. I buy this one from Sephora. This is a serum. The other one that I use sometimes is this Accretin, and this I buy in Dubai. This is Tretinoin. Tretinoin can only be purchased at the pharmacy. This is not an over-the-counter product. This is a prescription product. Now here's the kicker. Back home in the USA, to get a prescription of a tretinoin, it's gonna cost you about $300. You have to pay out of pocket, it's not covered by insurance. Here in Dubai, the same tube, it cost me $4. So, I know. If you're back home in the US and you don't wanna cough up $300 for the retinoin, I recommend trying out this Peter Thomas Roth one. I think this runs about $80. So I'm gonna just show you how I use both of them. For this Peter Thomas Roth, this is just a serum. So, and as you can see, I've used almost all of it. And what I do is I just put it right onto my hand, rub my fingers together, and I just put it all over my face. And I have used two bottles of this now. It's a beautiful product. It works really well. It's just, it, it works amazingly. It's not as strong as the over-the-counter, but because I've been using retinoids for a few years now, I think that's a big reason as to why I just don't have wrinkles. I don't have crow's feet. I have a little bit of fine lines underneath my eyes, but that's about it. So using the retinoid is key. Now, of course, in a normal day, I wouldn't double up, but I just wanna show you the difference between the both of them. So this is the Accretin. It comes out as a cream, which is really nice if you have dry skin, because some of the other types of retinoids out there have an alcohol um, component to them to help them quickly absorb into the skin. I never wanna put denatured alcohol onto my face, so this is a great alternative. This one is more potent. This one's going to produce better results than the serum that I just used. So with this cream, I just would dab it underneath my eye area and on the sides. Don't get it into your eye. I also like to put some on the marionette lines. And I put it all over my forehead. And that's about it for the face. Now with any extra, especially if you're buying this back in the US and it's so expensive, put it on your hands, the backs of your hands. Also put some here on your arms. Do you ever see when women have really saggy skin on their arms? I like to just put it right here on the crease. I'd like to think it does something. You can also put it on your neck and your chest. So that's the retinoid. Now, keep in mind, you never wanna put this on during the day. This is only a product strictly for night. So after I make this video, I'm gonna quickly wash my face because it can actually damage your skin to have sunlight directly touching the retinoid. So never, ever, ever, ever put it on your face during the day. The next thing I use is my eye cream. Now, the one that I absolutely swear by is this Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Intensive Anti-Aging Eye Cream. This eye cream is amazing. It's so great if you have fine lines, if you're 30 plus, I highly recommend this. Now, keep in mind, I do have dry skin, so this is a very rich emollient eye cream for dry skin. I've used it all up. I'm actually waiting for my shipment of it to come out. I buy it from the US at Sephora, 
But in the meantime, when I don't have this one, I use this Dermalogica Age Reversal Eye Complex. This you can buy here in Dubai. This does contain a uh, retinol. If I'm using this one as just my backup, I don't use any retinoids underneath my eyes when I'm using this one because I don't want to double up. It's not good for my skin. But this is just a really nice um, typical cream and it's just nice and thick, which is why I like to use it and it does work. Um, I'm not going to, it's a more of a gentler form of a retinoid. So if you're just getting into retinoids and you want to just kind of test the waters a little bit, this is a great way to start actually. Okay. So eye cream is on and now it's time for the face cream. And what I actually really like to use is this Bioderma, um, ultra soothing balm. This is a very thick rich cream and my skin just drinks it up and absolutely loves it. I buy this right from the pharmacy and because it's a pharmacy product, it's not as expensive as tons of the creams you would find in Sephora. And nice and thick, you can use it all over your body actually. I could swim in this stuff, I just love it. It's so good for my skin and it just really keeps me so moisturized. I use it during the day too and I mix in my um, SPF with it and it's just a great skin cream for dry skin. There is another one I'd like to tell you about. This is the LK Skincare. They reached out to me and asked me if they could send me a jar of it. So of course I said okay because I love to try out new skincare products. And as you can see, I've used almost all of it up. I actually stopped using it because I wanted to save some for this video. This cream I think is great for anyone with combination to dry skin. This is a really nice face cream. If you're looking for something that is vegan, it's all natural and it just has, it's just loaded with um, anti-aging ingredients. There's sodium hyaluronate in it, which is just like the hyaluronic acid. And it also contains lots of emollients in it. So it just keeps my skin feeling very moisturized and just very, when I wake up in the morning, my face doesn't feel like it's going to crack in half. I use this one during the day as well. It, wear, it wears really nicely under makeup, but a because it doesn't contain any SPF, I always mix in my own SPF with it. So this is my typical nighttime skincare routine. Now, if my skin is just feeling kind of extra dry and I'm just, I feel like I just need something a little bit more, what I like to do to put on top of all of this is the Katherine Jones Essential Glow Serum. This is an, a nighttime, she calls this a nighttime rescue oil. And I like to put oils on last because I feel like they kind of just hold everything onto my skin. And this one in particular is just so incredibly moisturizing and hydrating. It also smells incredible. I feel like I'm at a spa. And I like to just kind of finish off with this oil. So it just gives my skin that extra boost of hydration and is, I know it's going to lock in everything else I just put on my face and I just love how it works. All right, so this is my nighttime skincare routine. I do this every single night and it's a big reason why my skin just looks as youthful as it does. I would love to hear what you like to use if you have any suggestions for me, so please leave me a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye-bye.